was a little girl, I would go to bed, I would fall asleep, and then I would open my eyes, and there would be a bunch of fish. And I would have like these conversations with them, like I was in a fish tank. But I was in my room, and it was real time, and I was awake, but I was hanging out with a bunch of fish. But I kind of liked them. I think I didn't sleep either, but. I had an encounter once, and I had stopped doing stand-up comedy. My late grandmother, who I was very close with, would have hated this idea, because she loved me being a comedian. Well, one night, I'm walking down two sets of stone cellar stairs, and suddenly I just feel this push, like someone shoved me with both hands. I go flying down the stairs. They rush me to the hospital. I'd broken the middle finger on my left hand. I call my mom, and she says, do you know what today is? It was my grandmother's birthday. She said, what did your grandmother used to do to you every time you were being bad or stupid? Give me the middle finger and stick her tongue out at me. My nanny was a loving, wonderful woman who would absolutely shove me down the stairs to get a point across. You know, I never used to believe in ghosts, but one time I had to do a gig in Salem, Massachusetts, and they put me up into this hotel, and the people said, you know, that's the haunted hotel. I said, I don't believe in no ghosts. That night, the sink came on and the water started running. I was like, uh-oh. So I turned the water off, because I said, oh, maybe, you know, something just happened. Got back in the bed, the water came back on again. Got back up. Turn the water off, the light went off. I did not touch the light. I started cussing out the ghost. I said, let me tell you something. Leave me alone. I'm Lonnie Love. And went back to sleep, and that was it. Here's my ghost story. I'm dating this girl, and we're making out together. And all of a sudden, the room gets really cold. And then I feel this like, presence, like it's really weird presence. She was like, my mother died not so long ago. And then she started talking to her mother. Mom, it's okay. I really care for this boy. <gasps> this is no way to meet anybody's parents. But then all of a sudden, the presence leaves and the room like warms up again. And I was so freaked out by the whole thing but not so freaked out that we still didn't do it. <laughs> I hope ghosts have a sense of humor, because if not, I'm screwed. Oh! Did you hear that? I'm, I'm getting up out of here. You, you ain't gonna